Victor John, also known as Vic, of Mount Royal Kariku, who resided in the United Kingdom, passed away in the UK at the age of 69. He was the husband of Elmo, father of Charlotte, Stacy, Jenna, Leroy, Rolda and Randy, grandfather of seven, brother of Monica, Kenneth, Aaron, Jif and Marella, nephew of Daphne, also known as Auntie TV Poon, uncle of many, brother-in-law of Joan, Sharon, Josephine, Bernard, Rudolph and Lennox. The funeral of the lit Victor John, also known as Vic, of Mount Royal Kariku, who resided in the United Kingdom, will take place on Thursday, November 3rd, in the United Kingdom. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sister Gabrielle Mason, also known as Sister Gabs and Sita, member of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny, of Munich St. Andrew, died on October 28, 2022, at the age of 80, left to mourn Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny, niece Valerie Horsford, nephews Dr. Byron Caliste and Elvin Caliste, many relatives and friends including Wayne Horsford, Ellis and Sean Horsford, Arissa, Dr. Zania Louison, Essence and Hope Caliste, Mildred Crookshank, Nordica Noel, Helena Mason, Winifred Teague and Margaret McSween, the Mason, Lord, Noel, Edward and Peter's families, the principals, staff and students, past and present, of St. Joseph's Convent St. George's and Grenville and in the diaspora, friends and neighbors of Munich, Kroshu and surrounding communities. There'll be tributes for the late Sister Gabrielle Mason and evening prayer at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception on Wednesday, November 9th at 6 p.m. The funeral Mass for the late Sister Gabrielle Mason will be celebrated at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, Church Street, St. George's, on Thursday, November 10th at 10 a.m., followed by entombment at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Teresa Thompson, also known as Miss Thompson and Nicey, of Montfendu St. Patrick, passed away on Saturday, October 15, 2022, at the age of 87. She was the aunt of Joseph, John, Carly, and Nigel in the USA, grand-aunt of many including Jamal, Anthony, Jaden, Imani, Ngozi, Michaela, and Jolene in the USA, devoted cousin Fred Belfort, caregivers Kendra and Jermaine, many other relatives and friends including the Belfort, Thompson, Bartholomew, Gordon, Moses, Mullins, Mercia and Paul families, and friends and neighbors of Montfend du St. Patrick. The funeral of the late Teresa Thompson, also known as Miss Thompson and Nicey, of Montfend du St. Patrick, will take place on Thursday, November 10th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Patrick's Anglican Church, and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Lister Jude Noel, also known as Ferdista of Prospect St. Patrick, passed away on Monday, October 17, 2022, at the age of 30. He was the son of Marjorie Philip and Ferdinand Philip, stepson of Leroy Philip, step-grandson of Martha Philip, grandson of Maria Noel, Kinston Charles and Agatha Wilson, brother of Alice, Alison, Alicia, Jarrell, Odote in Grenada, Ursula, Ferdinanda and Nathaniel in Canada, close and dear friend of Cardisha McQueen, uncle of Alicia and Octavia, nephew of 13, nephew-in-law of Rosalind and Judlin Noel, many cousins, other relatives and close friends including Lyndon, Travis, Alistair, Algy, Trix, Jonel, Tillon, Shamali, Marlon, Kimani, Bradley, the Noel, Philip, Thomas, McLean, Mitchell and Salsiri families, members of the Hermitage and Privileged Theatre, Spice Mass Corporation, former employees of KM2 Solutions, Top FM, Shantimel School, and friends and neighbors of Prospect, Darby, Mount Alexander, Samaritan, Shantimel, Madez, Sotez, La Fortune, and River Valley St. Patrick.
The funeral of the late Lister Jude Noel, also known as Ferdista of Prospect St. Patrick, will take place on Thursday, November 10th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Soter, St. Patrick, and interment will be at the Marley Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Claudine Nicholas of Modern Air St. George, former employee of Grand Case Caregivers Program, passed away on Monday, 17th October 2022, at the age of 65. Left to mourn are her children, Rowan Nicholas in the USA and Wayne Dale Nicholas in Grenada. Siblings Leonard Harris, Eileen Thomas, Glenna, Celia and Philip Redhead, Joycelyn Ortiz, Dave Lowe, Wendy and Arlene Nicholas, all in the USA, Yoland Modest, Patsy Lewis, Wayne, Collins and Arlene Nicholas, stepfather Carly Joseph, grandchildren Aria Mitchell, Rayon, Adele, Ariel, Adian, Ruel, Ace and Ava Nicholas, many nieces and nephews too numerous to mention, daughters-in-law Rickadona Nicholas and Anika Houston, brothers-in-law Alfred Modest, Dexter Lewis, Michael Pope and Alistair McIntyre. Sister-in-law of Andy and Anne-Marie Nicholas. Other relatives and friends including Nola Paul, Hazel Smith, Jocelyn Thomas, Sheena Murel Joseph, Cleophus Edwards, the Nicholas, Modest, Lewis, Morris and Woodruff families of Molinaire, the Harris families of Molinaire and Happy Hill, the Cador family of Fontenoy, the management and staff of Grand Case Caregivers Program, members of the Uganda Martyrs Church, and friends and neighbors of Molinaire, Happy Hill, Grand Mall, Fontenoy, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Claudine Nicholas of Molinaire St. George will take place on Thursday, November 10th at 1.30 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, Church Street, St. George's, and entombment will be at the St. George's Center Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Garvey Wilson of Bellevue St. David, who resided at New Hampshire St. George, a former employee of Hubbard's, died on Monday, October 17, 2022, at the age of 34, left to mourn his wife Tamika Wilson, parents Eric Sylvan and Angela Wilson, siblings Alex Wilson, Gavon Wilson, Kimon Lalji, Aaron and Erin Sylvan, uncles Raul Wilson in the USA, Willen Wilson, Andres Wilson, Emmanuel James, Winston Wilson, Teddy Joseph, Kevin Joseph, and Jefferson Joseph, aunts Bernadine McLean and Petra Toppin, Marsha Wilson, Patsy Wilson in the USA, Rachel Wilson in the United States, Anne Marie Wilson, Jacqueline Kane in Canada, Rosalind Kane, Diane Kane, Jacqueline Gilbert, and Christine Kane, grandmother Helen Wilson in the USA. In-laws Robin Lewis and Sherlyn Mapp, cousins Bernard Wilson in the USA, Cassandra Wilson, Melissa Wilson in the US, Nadia Kane, Carly, Nakisha Wilson, Selwyn Kane, David Kane, Kerry Wilson, Keon Wilson and Ricky Kane, Nerissa Wilson in the US, and Cassil Wilson. Other relatives and friends, the Joseph and McIntosh families of St. David, the Sylvan family of Rosehill, the London family of Apritude St. David, the Julian family, and the McLean family. The funeral of the late Garvey Wilson of Bellevue St. David, who resided at New Hampshire St. George, will take place on Thursday, November 10th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at Agape Ministries, Petit Esperon St. David, and interment will be at the St. David Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Margaret Christopher, also known as Margaret Lewis, of Grand Bra, who resided at Canal Road, Grenville, St. Andrew, passed away on Saturday, 29th October 2022, at the age of 92. She was the mother of Ellen and Jennifer, grandmother of Ellen and Bria, sister of Kate, grandmother-in-law of Sophia, aunt of eight, grand-aunt of many, cousin of many, Many other relatives and friends, including Oliver Mason and family, Gillian St. Paul and family, Josephine Vincent and family, Nurse Tessa Alexander, the pastor and members of the Hills Road Church of Christ, 
Dr. Hensley Batiste and staff of the female ward at the Princess Alice Hospital, Roland, Mr. George, Dolchus Findlay and family, Phyllis Bernard and family, Grenkey's caregivers Grenville, and friends and neighbors of Grand Bra, Canal Road Grenville and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Margaret Christopher, also known as Margaret Lewis of Grand Bra, who resided at Canal Road Grenville St. Andrew, will take place on Friday 11th November at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Hills Road Church of Christ and interment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lackwell Brothers Funeral Hill. Roy Michael McMillan, also known as Nuku, Bound to Bolt, Kelly Key and Uncle Mac of Mamakan St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, October 18, 2022, at the age of 81. He was the husband of Brendalyn McMillan, father of Rexton, Sheena and Carvel in the USA, Cherise, Neltris and Neil in the British Virgin Islands adopted father of Dwight and Chrissy, grandfather of Ashley, Takia, Jelani and Jella, Jaden, Alex, Sarah and Carly, AJ, Tonya, Hayden, Ashton and Nalee, son-in-law of Phyllis Fletcher, father-in-law of Joel, Ajani Johnson and Doniel Silvan, brother-in-law of Ten, uncle of Aidan, Gosvel, Gaston, Matthew and Jilma, Many cousins including Marion Thornhill, Heidi, Lyris, Sylvia McMillan and family, Carly, John, Francis, Indra McMillan and family, Keisha Alexander Grant, Atiba, Asher and Siobhan Mitchell. Many relatives and close friends including Cress, Rufus, Samuel Mahorn, Panchu, Dennis Cruikshank, Joseph, Rosalind John, Mike and family, Louisa Felix, Helena Mason, Shirlene Robertson, Roso Felix and family, Veronica Walker and family, Keith Japal and family, Doreen Eno, the Macmillan families of Mamakan and Munich, and the Celestine families of Mamakan and St. David. The funeral of the late Roy Michael Macmillan, also known as Nuku, Bound to Bolt, Kelly Key and Uncle Mac of Mamakan St. Andrew will take place on Friday, November 11th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Martin de Porres Catholic Church, Crochet St. Andrew, and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Naomi Amy Nixon, affectionately known as Amy and Auntie Amy, of Mount Gay St. George, passed away on Tuesday, 11th October 2022, at the age of 93. She was the mother of Vaughn O. Nixon in San Francisco, California, and Richard A. Nixon, residing in Florida and Grenada, sister of Isaac Peters, mother-in-law of Nanda Vischer and Rynette Nixon, grandmother of Vaughn Jr., Randolph, Stefan, Sean, Samantha, and Naomi, aunt of many including Alethea, Evelyn, Pamela, Sylvia, Jude, Jacinta, Diane, Yuland, Jeffrey, Wilbur and Alicia in the USA, Alston and Merle in the UK, Audrey and Lorna in Canada, Claudette and Gracelyn in Trinidad, Gail, Clive, Don, Sonia, Raphael, Stanley and Dennis in Grenada, aunt-in-law of Martin Charles and Alva Pradam, sister-in-law of Verona, Edlin and Edris in Grenada, her dedicated caregiver Miss Bernadette. Other relatives and friends including the George, Peters and Nixon families, the Washington Christian Assembly, Maranatha Gospel Hall, U.S. Church families, Tyrrell Street Gospel Hall Church family, and relatives and friends in Trinidad, Grenada and the USA. The funeral of the late Naomi Amy Nixon, affectionately known as Amy and Auntie Amy of Mount Gay St. George, will take place on Monday, November 14th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George's, and entombment will be at the St. George's Centre Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Teresa Vita Louison of Brothers St. John passed away in London, England on Monday, 3rd October 2022, at the age of 89. She was the wife of Lyle Louison, 
mother of Catherine and Lyle Jr. in Grenada, Valerie, Michael, Jackie and Maureen in the UK, grandmother of many including Jennifer, Ryan, LaShawn and Zentwam in the UK, Nathalie, Othali, Kevin and Alvin in Grenada, great-grandmother of many including Garvey, Ty and Manyara, Aaliyah and Ellie in the UK, mother-in-law of Aston Thomas in the United Kingdom, aunt of Sandra, Derek and Ingrid in the UK, Akeem, Kadeem, Kevin, Lincoln, Michael, Alison, Alice, Al and Alva in Grenada, and Janet in Canada, niece of Auntie Cicely Batiste of Coco Grove Grove, many cousins including Netta Grant, Stephanie Benjamin, and Emily Sir Simon of Grove, many other relatives, family and friends in Grenada, the UK and the USA including Carol and Bob Halal in the UK, Lorna Lewis of Grove, Vivian and Julia Louison of Fort Judy, the Louison family in Grenada, the United Kingdom and the USA, the Batiste family, the Matthew family, the Sylvester family and the Hopkin family in Grenada and in the UK, the Peters family, the Duncan family, the Lewis family in Grenada, Lionel John, also known as Dredd, the Marshall family of Brothers, and the Jessamy family of Concord, Viola Frank in Cariacou, and brothers and sisters of the Jehovah Witnesses congregations of Gwarv and in London, UK. The burial service and interment of the late Teresa Vita Louison of Brother St. John will take place at Mortlake Cemetery in the United Kingdom on Tuesday, November 15th. Arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Miriam Diana Harry of Venezuela, who resided at La Taste St. Patrick, an employee of Silver Sands Resort, Grenada, passed away on Monday, 24th October 2022, at the age of 37. She was the daughter of James Harry, also known as Errol, and Catherine John Harry, also known as Evelyn, sister of Dexter Frederick in the USA, Juliet Yvonne Haddad in Trinidad, Edison John in Tortola, Daniel Harry in Venezuela, Vero McSween, Sergeant 742 Andy John, also known as Four Brass, Jim George and Christine Philip, also known as Junie in Grenada, close and dear friend of Delon Charles, niece of Everett Brown John, Kenneth John, Kathleen Garrett, Christine Childs, Linda and Esther Roberts, Claudia Batiste and Maureen Buddy. Aunt of Torell, Soniel, Darren, Toko, Camillus, and Jodel. Sister-in-law of Dexter McSween, Gargo Philip, Marina Frederick, and Rebecca Blackman John. Many other relatives and close friends including Renee Patrick, Bernice Roberts, Cherilyn and family, Esther, the John family in Tortola, the USA, Grenada and Venezuela, the Harry and Gary families of River Sally, Bernice Harry, the management and staff of Silver Sands Resort Grenada, and friends and neighbors of River Sally and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Miriam Diana Harry of Venezuela, who resided at La Taste St. Patrick, will take place on Thursday, November 17th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Holy Family Catholic Church River Sally St. Patrick, and interment will be at the River Sally Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Albert Glenroy Lucas, also known as Troll, of Lothus Lane St. George, proprietor of the Vehicle Machine Shop, passed away on Tuesday, November 1st, 2022, at the age of 66. He was the father of Kareem Winsborough, brother of the Reverend Dennis Lucas, Pastor Wesley, Mother Louisa, Reverend Mother Sarah, Esther Connaught, Louise Sylvester and Jacqueline Lucas, uncle of many including Daniel, Jason, Kendon, Joseph, David, Barbara, Rhonda and Kelly, many other relatives and friends in the USA, Canada, England and Grenada including the Thomas, Perry, Sam and Martin families, Jean, Yvonne, Geraldine, the Lucas, Aline, Latouche, Batiste and Griffith families, Leonard George and Reuben, Princess, Jenny, Julia, Lemma, Elton, Bo, Doe, Calbert, Bernie, friends at Fantasia, and friends and neighbors of Lothus Lane, Labory, and St. Paul's. The funeral of the late Albert Glenroy Lucas, 
also known as Troll, of Lothar's Lane, St. George, will take place on Thursday, November 17th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Mount Olivet Spiritual Baptist Church, Library St. Paul's, and interment will be at the Family Cemetery Library. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Peter Andrews, also known as Musu or One Foot of Grand Island Valley, who resided at Circular Drive, frequented St. George, a former employee of the Grenada Housing Authority, passed away on Saturday, 5th November, at the age of 58. The funeral arrangement for the late Peter Andrews, also known as Musu or One Foot, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Joseph George, also known as Daniel Jeremiah of Hope St. Andrew, passed away on Saturday, 5th November, at the age of 99. The funeral service for the late Joseph George, also known as Daniel Jeremiah of Hope St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Rolda Jackie Joseph, also known as Ruthie, of Last Suggest St. David, passed away on Sunday, November 6, 2022, at the age of 34. The funeral arrangements for the late Rolda Jackie Joseph, also known as Ruthie, of La Suggest St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Kenson Peters, also known as KP and Fudgy of Malmount, who resided at Latin St. David, passed away on Monday, 7th November, at the age of 30. The funeral arrangements of the late Kenson Peters will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Charles Victor, also known as Charlo and Prudent, of Pedmatar St. David, died on Friday, November 4, 2022, at the age of 83. The funeral arrangements for the late Charles Victor also known as Charlo and Prudent, of Padmatar St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Joseph Frederick Louison Langain, also known as Brother Joe and Coco Lute, of Mount Plaisir St. John, passed away on Saturday, November 5th, 2022, at the age of 82. The funeral arrangements for the late Joseph Frederick Louison Langain also known as Brother Joe and Coco Lute of Mount Blazier St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Laurel Alice Bruno, also known as Miss B or Bruno of Mardi Gras St. George, passed away on Friday, November 4, 2022, at the age of 64. The funeral arrangements for the late Laurel Alice Bruno also known as Miss B or Bruno, of Mardi Gras St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Ted Roy Badassi, also known as Bunsen, of St. George Estate St. George, died on Friday, November 4, 2022, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Ted Roy Badassi, also known as Bunsen, of St. George Estate St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Matthew Durangit, also known as Soft Tire, of Moran St. John, who resided at Lamode St. George, passed away on Tuesday, November 1, 2022, at the age of 77. The funeral arrangements for the late Matthew Durangit, also known as Soft Tire of Moran St. John, who resided at Lamode St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Remembering the life of Zaheem Vincent Salfali of Central Guava State, past student of the St. Peter's Catholic School and altar server of the St. Peter's Catholic Church Guava. Entered into rest November 7, 2020, at the age of 10. They say that times are healing, but as time goes on, we seem to find it just as hard to face the fact you're gone. And today, it's the second anniversary of that day you went away. Death took you away from our hands, but never from our hearts. 
Each day without you is living proof that even in absence of body, love has no end. The memories you have made with us will live on, for you will never be forgotten. For where root grows deep, memories grow forever. Zahim, your loving, energetic, jovial, and kind soul is missed by all. Left to mourn are his parents Natalie Vincent and Selwyn Salfari, stepfather Arthur Hostel, grandparents Alma Vincent, Robert Taylor, and Anthony John. Many aunts, uncles, cousins, relatives, and friends of central and surrounding areas, the St. Peter's Catholic School and church community. Zahim, you will always be missed and loved, but cherished in our hearts with treasured memories you left with us until that joyous day arrives when we will meet again. Continue to be our guiding angel. Rest in perfect peace, our beloved Zahim. Freenewell arrangements were entrusted to Lackwood Brothers Freenewell Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Bishop Daniel Moore, the Bishop of Jerusalem Spiritual Baptist Church. Jesus is quoting that if you believe in him, you shall live again. Those of you who have lost your loved ones, my special sympathy to you. God was declared as Jesus spoke to Martha and Mary in the 11th chapter of St. John quote from the 23rd verse Jesus said unto her thy brother shall rise again you go further down into the 25th verse stating that Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live those of you who lost your loved ones you can put your trust in Jesus Christ can you tell us in St. John 14 chapter let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me so that is not the end of your loved ones and remember there is a time coming when God will raise the dead back to life as he did to Lazarus that same time when he raised him from the grave and I want to tell you today put your trust in Jesus Christ one day you're going to see your loved one that is not the end of anyone. As you view this program here today, you can put your trust in Jesus Christ. Can the Bible tell us, Seek ye first his kingdom, and everything else shall be added. And I want you to put your trust in Jesus Christ, because with him all things are possible. And the Lord Jesus Christ said in his word that he's coming back again to receive all those unto him. So if you put your trust in the Lord, all things are possible. So my sympathy to you all, I know you'll cry because you have lost someone. But we know that if someone dies, you'll have pain, you'll have sorrow. But your grief, I know that the Lord, one day the Lord will give you peace in your life. Just put your trust in Him and He will give you peace in your life. Let's say a short word of prayer with you right now. Say, Lord Jesus, at this time, will you comfort me at this time? I'm in sorrow. My heart is in pain. I have lost someone. Will you comfort me? Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Strengthen me. Give me your grace. In this time of trials and transition, to be able to persevere and to be able to hold and to stand up. In this time of trials and transition, all this blessing and acts in Jesus' name. Amen. And to you, I lost your loved one, I pray that God will give you speed recovery and give you the ability to continue to trust him because we know death is not the end of your loved one. She or he shall rise again. So just trust him and may God bless you with these few words.